Welcome back guys. So right now we have our organization account opened as we know once you log in you will see the organization overview. What you need to do to create a new workforce project is to go to this icon right here and look for workforce and you will find it and then once you click it it will open in a new tab and as you see here the URL ends with workforce. And this is the web app that we will use to create the new project and make all the assignments. So to create a new project, you just need to click create new project. And we will call this project electricity inspection. And we will give it a summary saying this project for assignment to collect and inspect electricity grid and we will click create project and it will take a few seconds to create the project for us but once it's done you will see how it will look like and we will see how can we create assignment and who is going to be the dispatcher so in arcgis workforce there is a dispatcher so because we have an organization you have people who will be in the field you have administrator and you have dispatchers or you have different users with different responsibilities the dispatcher person will be the one who is responsible to assign tasks for certain people and then they will control these tasks for these users and when the field users get this assignment they will finish it and we will keep track of this assignments okay and right now the project is created but there is some steps that need to be created before we continue create the assignment so here we should add assignment type so the first type i will add is an inspection and the second one will be repair and the third one will be verify and we can add as many assignment types as we want but this is the only three assignments types that we can use in uh, our uh, workflow for the electricity grid maintenance and the next step is to add mobile workers and here you define which users will be field users using the mobile app and who will be dispatchers. You can add as many users with different roles as much as you have users in your organization. So let's say, for example, if you have 15 users in your organization, 10 of them will be uh, mobile uh, users or field users and five of them will be dispatchers. You should assign these roles and define which user will take this role from here. And because I'm the only user here, so I will assign myself one time as a mobile user and the second time I will assign myself as a dispatcher. And also I am a dispatcher automatic because I'm the owner who created this project. So because I'm the owner, I'm automatically a dispatcher and I also assigned myself as a mobile worker so I can assign tasks for, for myself when I open the mobile app. I can uh, see these assignments and I can finish these assignments. So the last step here to start adding the assignments is to add more dispatchers. And if you have multiple dispatchers, you can add them from here by clicking on add more dispatchers or you can skip this step and I will skip it because I am the only dispatcher and I have no other users to assign them as dispatchers. So skip this one and then now our project is ready so we can open it and we can see the map and we can see the location where we will assign these tasks. Okay, so now we have the map or we have the project opened for the first time. This is how it will look like. So the way to create assignments, you need to uh, go to the location where you will have your first assignment. And because I'm in Atlanta right, right now and I'm going to drive around to go to the places where I want to, to do certain things. And I will just assume that I am doing the inspection, the verify and the repair. Uh, let's search for the first location where I want to create the first assignment. So what I need to do right now is to create a new assignment. And here you will choose one of the types that we created in the beginning. So we have the three types we created. So the first step will be an inspection. And we have three addresses that I'm going to use to uh, go and do the inspection and another address to do the repair and another address to do the verify. Just assuming that I'm going to do a real inspection or repair or verify, but actually I'm going to go to get gas and maybe some food and then come back uh, to where I am right now. So that's why I'm going to use just uh, addresses that I'm going to go for real location. So we, when I come back, we can see it on tracker and use it uh, on navigator and we can see that the assignments are done in the right location so here i will use this address as an inspection location so i will create assignment as inspection 
and to add the address or to add the location you can click on the map or you can search for an address and you can type the address here and it will pop up and one, as one of the first options and you can use this one as your first assignment and this is the location for the gas station I'm going to go to get gas for my car so I'm gonna create assignment using this address and here's the address that I'm going to go to and the assigned to there's only one user but as many field users as you have or as many mobile users as you have you will find all of them here and you will see if they are working how many tasks they have you will see how many assignments they have and if they are not working or working or finished working so if they are not working you will see that there is a gray circle around their picture if they are working you will see that there is a green circle around their picture so here I'm gonna select myself as the worker or the field user who will do this assignment and you can assign priority for this task let's say this one will be medium and day or date it have to be done today at, at this time and you can give it ID 101 description please go there to inspect the electricity grid and I will add double quotation and say and get gas for your car so that's what I'm actually going to do but let's assume that I'm gonna go there to do electricity grid uh, inspection but I'm actually going to go get uh, gas for my car you can also add attachments if you have any PDF or pictures you want to send it to them and they can use it while they are in the field or at this location when they do the assignment you can add any attachment here and they will be able to see it on the app so let's select a file for example let's select uh, like any picture of these pictures uh, let's add because we are working on workforce let's add workforce picture so when I go there I will op I will be able to see the assignment and I will be able to see all this information including this picture and I will show you that in the app as well and that's it for how to create an assignment then you click create assignment and now the assignment is done and here you have the information for the assignment if you go back to the assignments you will see that you can create a new assignment or you will see here all the assignments that you created for all the users and you will see which one they are working on and which one they are finished and which one need to be done so right now I'm gonna create another two assignments uh, and I'm going to use the second one for repair and I'm gonna use this one right here this address I'm gonna go buy some food or something from like any drive-through because it's almost uh, like 2 a.m. here so I'm gonna go to this address buy something and I'm going to search for this address and I'm going to select the location and then create assignment and then this is the address where I'm going to go to do the repair uh, the priority is high the you date I will say today as well you can change the day and the time based on what assignment when is the due date for the assignment to be done and you can set the time the ID I'll give it 1002 description please go there repair the electricity grid and also you can add another attachment so we can add another picture out of this pictures here I'm gonna add field maps and create assignment you can add any files or any folders you have you can add videos uh, voice notes you can add uh, PDF you can add like diagrams you can add anything you want so they can view these things when they are in the field and as you see here I forgot to add the assignment to which one so uh, it says it's unassigned so I need to come here and say assign this one to uh, this user and this user already have one assignment so it shows me how many assignment they have so you can keep track of who have assignment and who have and who have the ability to take more assignments so I'm gonna assign this one to the same user we assigned the one before this one and let's go back to the assignment again now we have two assignments one with medium with one with high and every one of them have the address and show who is responsible for this task to be done now we will do the last assignment and we will do the same thing this one will be for verify the repair and it will be at this address so I'm gonna use this one as my verify location I'm gonna search here and I'm gonna use this one create assignment assign to I'm gonna assign it to the same person and this one is low and due date same day same time ID 1003 please 
go there to verify the repair and that's the assignment I have so now right now I have a place to go to do the inspection another place to go to do the repair and another place to go to do the verify and you can add, add attachments as well and then you create the assignment and after you create all your assignments you will see how many assignments you have you will see uh, like all the assigned users and you can show assignment as assignments or you can show the users uh, based on how many assignments they have and how many finished once I finish one of them you will see a green uh, bar here showing that one out of three is done and then as many as I go and finish all the assignments it will show that I have no assignments left and I finished everything and the color here will turn to green and finished will be green right here so right now uh, let's go back to the assignments again and if I click on any one of them it will show me the location on the map and it will zoom to the location where I need to do the assignment so this is the second address we added for the repair and when I click on verify it will take me to the location where I will do the verify when I zoom out you will see that you have the three locations on the map right here and if you want to edit any one of them you can click on it and then click on the map on the location and once you click on the map you will see here that you see all the information for this assignment you can delete this attachment and you can edit anything you want by clicking edit and you will be able to update this assignment as they work on it or before the field users start working on it so this is how you can edit the assignment is by going to the location click on the map or where the assignment is and then you can edit it from here and also here you have the option to cancel the assignment or to highlight it if you have a lot of uh, like assignments and the map is so busy there's so many points and a lot of assignments on the map you can choose any one of them and say highlight and highlight will zoom to this assignment you can change the assigned person from here and you can edit the assignment however you want if we go back to the assignments list again and let's say for example I want to cancel any of them I can select one and I can say cancel you can also zoom to it if you want to zoom or you can click on it it will zoom to this location but you can select one from here or multiple and you can zoom to it so right now I zoomed to only one location but if I select this two and I click zoom the map will show me the location for these two assignments in the same time and it will zoom the extent to show these two assignment locations you can cancel a specific assignment and once you cancel it it will show as cancelled and here you have priorities you can change the priority for any of them or for all of them at the same time you can select as many as you want and you can change the day date or the priority or cancel them or zoom to all the selected assignments right here so basically that's how you can configure the assignments for the users this is all what you need to do on the web application for the workforce uh, once we finish creating the assignments uh, as you see right now all the assignments are in gray color because uh, no one start working on it so in the next video I will open the workforce app as a mobile user or a field user and I will see which assignments I have and then I will start saying I'm gonna start working on this and once I change the status for this assignment that I am actually working on it we will see here on the web app that the color for this assignment will change to be working on it and then we will see what will happen when I finish the assignment and actually go to all these places and do the things I need to do and then finish all these assignments on the app and we will come back again and see how that looks like right here so that's it for this video I hope you understand everything about workforce how you can create a project how can you create assignments for different users and how can you give roles for the dispatcher and the field users and how we can do all these things but if you have any questions about creating a project or assignment please let me know and I will be happy to help you so thank you so much and we'll see you in the next video so we can open the app and do the rest of the work thanks